Okay, this uh, tutorial on Photoshop CS5 I call Toucan Cube or Toucan Cube. It gives you the vision of a mirrored cube. It's pretty neat. Let me forewarn you though, beware of these birds. <clears throat> I was at Bush Gardens taking some pictures. He looks very innocent. They do have some warnings posted which I paid no attention to. But once you get the camera up to the light, up to the screen trying to focus in on him, he moves like a streak of lightning and pecks on that camera lens so hard, it's a miracle a camera lens survived. But they're not as innocent as they look, so beware of these birds. They can be very dangerous. The first thing we're going to do now is duplicate this image. And we're going to duplicate it four times. So I hit Control and the J key. I'm on there, Control J four times. So I got the layer duplicated four times. Then I go to the background layer. I want to increase the canvas size by 50%. So I go uh, Image, Canvas Size, Percent. I go 150%. So I hit Tab, Tab to get down there and get 150 again and then enter. Now I've got my canvas size increased by 150%. Next thing I'll do is go to layer 1. I've got the move tool selected and I'm going to just move this over to the end. And then I'm going to hit the Control T for the transform tool. I'll make my screen a little smaller and I want to bring my like so. I right click on there, flip horizontal because you want a mirrored image effect. Then I go to perspective and I'm going to do the perspective at actually want 45 percent exactly. So I go up to here, vertical, and I'll just click in 45 percent, enter, enter, and we've got this first one. Although it's off kilter for some reason, so I'm going to move it down just a hair. Good. The next one, again the move tool selected, so I just slide it over to here. I'm going to get this to this side. I slide it over to here. Control T for free transform. Shrink that up the way we want it. Flip horizontal once again. Right click again in perspective. Perspective again, we want 45 degrees exactly, so I go to 45 degrees. Enter, enter, and then it's there. And again, it's off kilter, so I'll move it down with my move tool, my move arrow. Next, I go to the uh, layer above it. I'm going to move this one up. And again, I got to shrink my canvas so I can. I use my scroll on my mouse to shrink that down, it works very well. And I'm going to hit my uh, Control T for transform tool. I bring that down here so it fits in the screen. Right click and then I have a flip vertical this time because you want a mirrored image again. Right click again, perspective. Again, 45 degrees. Uh, that's in the height this time, so I click the 45, 45 even, delete or backspace, enter and enter once more. There we go. We got 45 degrees. Looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. Top layer. Again, the move tool. Move it there. Control. Uh, snaps in place there. Control T for transform. Again, flip vertical. Right click once more, perspective, and then you scroll out to uh, 45 degrees, backspace to erase that, enter, enter. And then you got a pretty cool looking uh, effect there. It looks pretty neat. But what I've found works kind of nice if you, uh, well, this one was not quite right. See this top one? There's a little line showing here. So I'm going to just see if I can move it just now. That doesn't work, so I'm move it in a little bit. I'm going to hit Control T again, just to stretch this out just a hair. Okay, Enter, Enter twice. Good. 
move there is pretty good. They still got that problem. You see, still got a little space there. So I'm going to move the one next to it up just a hair. One more time. That's good. That's excellent. Now we got a nice tight screen all the way around. Now I'm going to go to the right side. Image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. So it looks a little bit more like an effect. You're looking to cube. I'm going to make this one oh, about about a hundred percent brightness. And I go to the opposite side. Image, adjustments, brightness and contract. Contrast will go minus a hundred on this one or thereabouts. Okay. On the top and bottom, I'm going to do about 50 or 60 percent uh, image, image, adjust, brightness, contrast. I'll delete it about 50% or so just to give it the shadow effect. Same with the bottom. Image, adjust, brightness, contrast once again. Go about minus 50%. OK. Now I'll go flatten image. And we've got the finished picture, which I think looks awesome. I hope you enjoyed my toucan or toucan, toucan cube. Again, beware these birds, they can be deadly. I'm going to show you a couple samples also of other ones I've done.